Okay, I got HS, HDSDR up and running all by itself here, and you can see I've got an S5 level of noise here. And if you take this and spread it out, you actually see this is about a 60 hertz hum, uh, which is power supply uh, range. And uh, I don't have the radio on at all, so the radio is not involved with this noise. I believe what I have here is a common problem called ground loop, and uh, I've tried grounding in different places and everything else, but again, that's part of the problem differences in potential and ground. So anyway, what I got coming is a uh, what they call a ground loop isolator, specifically for a USB port. So I'm going to install that uh, and, and see what happens here, see if this noise level goes down. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I installed the uh, ground loop uh, isolator and I'll show a picture of that and a link for it and all that kind of stuff. But uh, this is what it looks like. So I went from an S5 with that hum down to about an S, a little less than an S3 at this point. And uh, when I turn the radio on, I'll show you that in a moment. But uh, I don't have good signals today because the band stink. But uh, it's, it's right down there with the ambient noise. So uh, it's not a problem. Uh, and anyway, the volume sounds good. You can turn it up and all that kind of thing. Okay, now that I got the uh, the USB ground fault isolator installed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, button everything back up, like I said. And then I'm gonna get some video, or excuse me, some audio going on the G90 and uh, play that for you to hear. So just uh, stand by, and I'll be right back. Okay, well I got uh, 40 meters tuned in here, and uh, I'll turn it off mute here in a moment and let you uh, let you hear a little bit of the audio. Uh, but essentially the 60 hertz hum is gone. You see very little in the scope at all. Uh, the S meter seems to be calibrated along with the G90 as well. Uh, I can adjust volume here well. And even when the signals are low and you got the static and stuff, you're not hearing that 60 hertz hum. So <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to listen to these two signals here. This is the 7200 Clown Club right here. So God knows what you'll hear there. But I try to tune some of this in so you can hear some of the audio. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this mic and turn on the uh, radio here. And I'll be back to you. You know, 1990 ICON. Uh, it looks like the 7800 don't it weighs as much, but it was the first one of those generation radios. So uh, the last generation is called the 7851, and they got a new one coming out next year. But uh, yeah, this uh, this. Uh, good evening, Good evening. Hope it's been stored in the back garden. Mm -hmm. Will it go rusty? Yeah. I think that's got to be some pretty dangerous stuff to arrest, I tell you. Do uh, you throw it up, uh, uh, up against the wall? Do you break it into lace and fingers or uh, get down on its knees? Um, <laughs> get tied up with rope? Anyway, I put it back on mute so you can see the audio coming in there. Sounds pretty good. Uh, a lot better than the actual radio it does itself so we've got rid of that 60 hertz hum we'll call that a fix and uh anyway i'm going to say 73s and then this video here this is kilo echo 4 echo victor lima and if this uh, video was useful for you or helpful please just hit like and subscribe talk to you later bye